Welcome to the Great British Bake Off. sweating already. I'm going so red. I like, literally don't even look at me. I'm so nervous. Ah! Hello everyone. I'm so insecure. Oh my god. Get it together Olivia. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> me, Flossie and Olivia and are all going to be doing the Great British Bake Off today. Quarantine cast off also collabing guys. We are going to be making cupcakes but in our own individual ways and obviously we're not together so we obviously can't rate each other. The jury is up to you on whose cupcakes look the best. Obviously you can't taste them because it's just not really possible. Whoever's looks the best you have to comment down below and tell me which ones you think look the best. This is going to be a journey. Hi everyone. My name is Flossie and I'm so so, hashtag blessed and honoured to be included in this year's Great British Bake Off. Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Olivia and Kate's obviously asking on our channel today to make some cupcakes. It honestly is a pretty excellent boost for my ego and maybe one that isn't needed. We're not cooking channels. We're all like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, you know. So, this isn't our expertise. Funny story actually, I've been basically a depressive lump of skin and haven't left bed like literally for four days. It was bound to happen at some point the breakdown was pending this whole lockdown it happened we're over it now i've just been like so unproductive and like have done nothing and like no work i just decided chloe tink can fuck off for my cupcakes i'm gonna be making rainbow slash tie-dye cupcakes obviously tie-dye is such like a trend at the moment so i thought you know i'll put it as my food i'm not gonna lie like i actually kind of like to think of myself as a fairly decent baker i think i'll lose your vote if i say it but i am making vegan cupcakes i'm kind of gonna wing it today i know i know i'm not gonna go off a recipe i'm basically like freestyling my own healthy cupcakes. They're actually still really nice. Like I would make these for bun rota sometimes in school and like people doubt me because everyone's like, everyone fucking hates vegans. But I'm just gonna say they kind of pull through. So I guess we just start. What do we need? I'm going to start off with my coconut flour. This is organic coconut flour, gluten free. So you're thinking, okay, just boring vegan cupcakes. No, Oreo vegan cupcakes, grain free. Preheat the oven to 180, okay. Beautiful fresh trans vegans, high in fiber. If you're making cupcakes, just crush up Oreos and put it in the mix before you put them in the oven and they are sensational. And... Yeah. I've got a Scylla. It's coming to that time of the year again where I have a sweaty upper lip in all scenarios and it's a huge personality flaw. When I was 11, I applied for Great British Bake Off. Clearly didn't get in, not holding any grudges BBC. When I was younger, I was basically thinking about all the career paths I wanted to go on. And like baking and becoming a chef was like one of the biggest ones. One time I made like these bomb ass biscuits and like everyone loved them. Everyone was like, oh my god, you should definitely become like a baker and stuff. But like, <laughs> has that happened? No. 50 grams of coconut flour. Should I? Yeah, I should sift it. Sift it, sift it, sift it. I saw this thing on TikTok and it was like the Chloe Ting thing made me like wider, like made me lose my waist. And I was like, that's not gonna happen to me. Like, I am gonna be a slim thick queen always. It did happen to me. And like, I don't know if it actually did, but like, I just feel like I'm more of a door now. Oi, this is fucking dishwasher, other trucker. What the bloody hell is the freaking, what are they called? Shells? Oh, cupcake cases, that's it. Anyway, not that you're interested. Let's get on to the cupcakes. <laughs> I am planning on making all the like icing and all really nice. So Kate and Flossie, like, I'm sorry, but you should just accept defeat now. Mmm, she smells good. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't know what's happened to my hair, but I just forgot to dye it pink so many times, and so now it's just like white blonde. And I kind of like it. It's kind of like the money pieces at the front of my hair. Kind of vibe or whatever. You don't understand like the absolute fear I have filming this because obviously this is a collab on Kate's channel, so I'm just filming me making cupcakes and sending her, and she has to edit it. I don't think you understand the amount of work that goes into editing my clips because I do have like moments where I have raging ADHD and I speak so fast and ramble for so long, and you can barely understand what I'm saying because I speak at this pace. Like, I give James Charles a huge run for his money. What to do? What's up? However, then I'll just sit and stare at the wall for a good five minutes, racking my brain, hoping that I'll come up with some words. Does everyone have like a sick bowl in their house that you still have? But it was like the bowl you'd be sick into. Um, I literally found you as a butter dish. Oh my god, it's happening again. This is our sick bowl for anyone who cares. It's actually a pretty great bowl. Oh, there's a hair in the bowl, bruh. That's not very professional. I'll get fired from my job if that will happen. Stop, stop, let me off. Am I a chef though? 
No. I'm a baker. You never know. These could literally be like the best cupcakes in the world and I would just revolutionize, re revolution, revolutionized quarantine because you can eat these and I was about to say not put on the pounds but who actually gives a fuck about putting on weight in quarantine? It's a fucking pandemic. I thought this bowl is definitely not big enough but you know, we live. She pitched her idea to me and Flossie by saying it's the Great British Bake Off and I know as soon as she said it, bit of a controversy for my Northern Irish peeps because basically like in my country it used to be Ireland and then the British don't really know what happened I don't think I was alive then but the British basically decided we would like to own you I am recently like really obsessed with porridge I don't know why porridge has never been a thing in my life I hate to be that bitch but like I do try and stay away from carbohydrates so we made it into a nice soft creamy paste who wants to see it you see that that's what good pussy sounds like Ireland put up a wee bit of a fight and they only gave them six counties I am one of the six counties so technically I am a British citizen well I actually don't have a British passport anymore because I realized like do anyone actually like the British like apart from Britain do you know what I mean if any mums are watching this I am so sorry for that I swear I'm a bad person but I just can't help it I literally just can't it's my dad my dad taught me all the swear words literally one of my first words was shit my ovaries don't actually work which is amazing love that for me eating carbohydrates just makes them like not work even more wow you would not have thought I got an A star in English now we're gonna do it the way the chefs do it bitches oh I freaking got so much shell in it. Bro, you know, everyone takes a piss out of us on TikTok, like British love. I was like, right, I'm not gonna get another British passport and now I only have an Irish passport because I just feel like everyone loves the Irish. I'm like, top the morning too. No? I don't know. Oh no, 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 I don't want shell in. I feel like people shit on margarine and prefer butter, but for making cakes, margarine is the bomb.com. Don't come for me, come for Emma, because she told me that one. Hello. In Northern Ireland, it's like hugely divided by identify as Irish or British. I honestly, like, I could not give less of a fuck. I don't care what I am. If I'm in a video saying Great British Bake Off, half the comments will be like, you're not British, you're Irish. So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any sectarian comments because I will literally find you and kill you. And then I have to put the Blinner extract in at the same time. Okay. First of all, actually, can we just talk about this? For the way I say vanilla, I'm sorry. I don't know why I say it that way. It just happens. If I want to say vanilla normally, I have to like physically think about it, you know? But vanilla just comes out of my mouth. It's just the way I am. But I don't want people to be like, oh my god, she was so lazy. She just chucked a ton of shit because I'm genuinely really rooting for this. Oh, you don't want to look so well. Someone else's a la 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 lunch. Oh, got all over my freaking slippers, bruh. Yeah, got private. Oh, you know, apparently you can get drunk off Blinner extract. <laughs> How mad. I saw on TikTok, it was like a trend. I kept on getting my few pigs, like the nutmeg, like getting high off nutmeg trend. Now it's like Blinner extract, and apparently if you do like loads of shots of it, it gets you absolutely wasted. But like, I ain't that desperate, so I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> it's just funny, like seeing people like get absolutely smashed on Blinner extract. Like, how random. You know? Sweet, that is so light. This whole thing is 75 grams. What? Come look at the consistency of this. Did she use a whisk? No. Did she use a blender? No. That is pure elbow grease, everyone. Wow, looks beautiful. Oh, by the way, like I'm really not telling you what I'm doing here, but I am just putting flour and sugar in the bowl. That's all I've done so far, and it has been a good 35 minutes. I'm not the best baker in the entire world, I'll admit it, but I'm trying. That's what's important. I mean, normal people would use sugar, but I am that bitch. And I hate that I am that bitch, but I am. Like, this is me, this is real. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Adding a little milk into the thick mixture is dropping consistency. Milk, milk, milk in a cupcake mixture. Hello. For a good week there, all I did was impersonate Debbie Ryan. God bless her. I just want to know how she's doing. Does she know that she is the brunt of every single joke on TikTok at the minute? Like, I'd love to know. Right, should I add some cocoa powder? Fuck it, yeah, let's add some cocoa powder. Grams of stuff. Oh, what? Hello? What the shit? Why is it broke on the side? <laughs> Oh, and you did this for what? It's like a cracked in. No, I can't stop impersonating. What's her name? Kristen Stewart. Bella from Twilight. Oh my god, Twilight. Here's what it is. I just had a stroke. I literally just had a stroke. I love these. They're like these syrups, but they're kind of good for you because they're from plants and shit. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you look so well. Then she says, move. She says, no. I want to show you my new lock screen. It used to be with my boyfriend, then I changed it to this, but just speaks volumes, to be honest. Oh my god, stop, stop. Ah! Ooh, yeah. And that's that. <laughs> Um, hello? <laughs> Whoa, that was literally a quarter of the thing. So it has to be like a dropping consistency. What? Pour in milk with me. Yeah, but I've been impersonating her loads recently. Who wants to see it? Wait. 
Let's do a taste test first. Wow, I could eat that whole entire bowl. You name my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? Oh my god, why is that so good? We've got some real Theresa May running through cornfields energy coursing through my veins. When I was younger, I used to literally collect like food coloring. So we've got a whole entire box here. We're gonna basically put our cupping mixture into halves or quarters. Yeah, quarters, sorry. Wasn't that good at maths? Woo! I say in every single video of mine, I'm like, I don't drink over lockdown. Like, I'm just gonna be like a healthy queen, do my creating workout, only eat healthy food. Yeah, it's a complete lie, basically. Every single Saturday, I'm like, I'm not drinking tonight. And then I get in the Zoom chat, and the girls are all having their cocktails, and they're like, come on. And then I have to get on to my family and like take out the vodka and pink like and they're like, girl, don't do it. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. I was just thinking about it. And then they find me in the bathroom floor two hours later, and I'm like, I need it. I was one of those kids where I was like, Mom, I want to make cupcakes. And I would start making them. And obviously, after the cupcake mixture was done, I'd just take the bowl and go into the other room. And then she finished them off. <laughs> that was so selfish, bro. <laughs> I was carried from the bathroom floor in my bed by my boyfriend. I'm sure he'd love to see it. Like, honestly, what else would you want to be doing on a Saturday night? Do you know what I mean? Ugh, eggy fingers. It's ugly. Bruh, why? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can recover this. Mommy, I'm eating a boo boo. I think I've just come to the decision that I can't have my drink whatsoever. My first line out should be exciting. To be honest, I will completely forget how to drink and not even make it up to the club. Why would I do that to myself? There's a whole bit of the cupcake mixture basically ruined, but I'm not gonna let it get to me. Can I add milk chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips? Right, I'm gonna close my eyes. Go in my that's not gonna work. Believe it or not, I actually have more than two brain cells. Now that's sexy. Thank the Lord and the heavens above that I'm not going to uni this year or ever, to be honest. <laughs> I just feel bad for my friends that are going to uni this year because they don't even have a fresher. It's like, how awful would that be? That's the reason I'm not going to uni. <laughs> I feel like the green's gonna ruin it. But we're all here for disasters, so we may as well just do it. Wait, wait a damn minute. What the hell is that? Oh, there's like remnants of my Greek frappe. Oh my God, my teeth. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Milk. How do I get rid of that? Bruh, I licked my finger once and that happens. So this next um, ingredient kind of gives me the fear. It is vinegar. I'm kind of like, what is vinegar doing in my cupcakes? But yeah, no, I can't even defend this. This is really strange behavior from this recipe. It actually tastes okay. But I've got one of the oats in my mouth and I forgot I put oats in it. And I thought it was like a toenail in it. I thought one of the oats was a toenail. You know one of those things you used to get at the dentist where like you used to like test if you had like black on your teeth or not? I literally look like I have that mess. <laughs> it just reminds me of fish and chips. You know people who got fish and chips like as their takeaway of choice when they were younger? Like, no. I feel so, so sorry for you because you're robbed of your childhood. Okay, I need to go brush my teeth for y'all, everyone. Look at the consistency of it. She do be looking like a toilet bowl after Taco Bell. A full tablespoon of this, like I am gonna boke. Also, you're gonna sift in all the dry ingredients and that is something which I did not do. So this is already going really well. Oh! Oh my god, we always had a major spillage. Hello. Try some. A bit lumpy, what's in it? Try it. It's uh, not something else. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's all right. What do you think it needs more of? Stirry. Okay, so I've mixed my mixture. I had to use a hand whisk because I actually don't have one of those, you know, the like kitchen aids that do it for you because I am not a Tory. What I'm saying is that I think I should get your vote because I am a dedicated baker. I am keeping to the trends of 2020 and also putting it into my food. So who's a winner here? Alleluia. If you guys vote for me at the end and I win, there's going to be something in it for you. I'm like that dying little kid who just fingers their cake mixture. In Northern Ireland, we don't have conservative and labor. It's like, we just have, oh my God, it's actually so funny. We have this um person like in charge. I don't know what she's called. She's basically like prime minister of Northern Ireland. Their political party like have come out before and said that they don't think dinosaurs are real. They think it's like a, it's a myth basically. That's who's in charge of my country. It's honestly vibes. Update. It tastes like shit. You could get free much. You heard it here first. So. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna add some actual sugar because like fuck this healthy shit. This is not working out for me right now. Oh by the way, I'm crushing up the Oreos now and just putting them in the mix. I probably could have crushed them up a lot more than this, but my motivation's kinda going out the window. I'm so hungry. It's actually way harder than you think, guys. I'm not going to lie. Ugh, what the 
Why do you look like that? All my confidence and self-esteem is leaving. I've been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. If I think about the fact I'm eating raw egg right now, I will wrap. Look how sick they look. Yes, I get the purple has overpowered a lot of the cupcakes, but I hope that this little mix-in thing will like basically make it all jazz up and look very like tie-dye, you know? I'm gonna see this my fault. It's my fault. I keep my heart on my sleeve. Goodbye winners. I've got my cupcakes. I mean, they're kind of ugly, but so was I when I was younger. And look at me now. Thriving on Kay Elizabeth's channel. I know, I don't want to be me too. Woo, woo, woo. I do make it harder on myself, don't I? By not using like a blending machine or anything. But like, honestly, I think if you put your whole entire life into the things that you bake, they come out better. Oh, she's a big arm cramp. So, who dares me, Flopsy and Kate to start the hype house in London? Okay, fine, we'll do it, we'll do it. My cupcakes look really weird. They look great. It's just a batter. They look brilliant, honestly. Did you know what that's really this is what I need? <gasps> Ow. Okay, so basically update the mix smells like vinegar. It literally smells like fish and chips. I think I fucked up. So the cakes are made in the oven and I'm just gonna go chill now, have a bit of hour and hour. I mean it's five o'clock somewhere. I put in way too much icing sugar for this bowl and the butter is too hard for this to be able to mix. Oh no 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 no. That was much more effective. <laughs> Transfer. <gasps> Oh, I've got some of the cakes out of the oven. I've tried one, not gonna lie. I like to brag, but they're pretty darn good. This is when I think that I should use a whisk and I actually am messing up this whole entire process. Just fun fact, uh, today me and Kate were arriving in Bali. <laughs> if that's not so much fun, I don't know what it is. I'm feeling happy and content with my current state in life. This one's the point. I need my noodles for my piping bags. I could be in fucking Bali right now on the beach, but I'm sat here making Oreo cupcakes in my kitchen in Northern Ireland. Crumble, you look like a snowman. You need my daughter after the Loch Ness monster. Take me back to the good old days of being a slightly overweight child with a passion for baking. There are no winners. This is only our participatory. Participatory. What is that word? Participating. Uh, participatory. I literally don't know. So we just went to put it in the cupcake holders, and turns out that we don't have any. So that's the problem that come up a fox joking i've sent my dad over to get some cupcake holders now but like that's not really an essential shop so kate it's like you want people to die in my eyes everyone's a winner joke i'm competitive as fuck and honestly if i don't win i'll be upset i'm going to scoop the icing which is homemade thank you very much anyway who wants to see me when i was a baby there you go i was like low-key kind of thick did you guys ever watch that like tv show called two broke girls if i could like taste those cupcakes i would there's like this thing on twitter where it's like what animated food would you try out someone said the eggs from Shrek and it cracked me up so much. That's what I believe it. I'm popular opinion, but that song is actually like not that good. Like I really waited so many years for Rihanna to release something. George, Odie, come here. George just farted! <laughs> George, oh my god, it's big! You naughty, naughty, you teasing me. Mm. I just licked the big bit of blue again. Fuck's sake, why would we do this? Which one is the most intact? I mean, they're all a bit saggy, not gonna lie. Ugh, bruh. Ooh. Okay, that's absolutely hideous. Another reason why you should vote for me and not Kate is because, no harm, Kate's dog looks like it smells a wee bit. And I know George eats poo, but like, he's honestly just a wee darling, aren't you? He's like, no paparazzi, please. Oh my god, he's so cute, biting me. That's how you shows affection um i mean let's just hope my parents still love me after this that's the sound of the police boys that is it that is the cupcakes they're ready pretty sure i've been cooking these bitches for about half an hour oh oh no stay oh wow 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 zooey mama Dog, he really is. Oh my god, here comes Odie. They look great. You know, they're actually looking well. <laughs> both my parents were like, they look disgusting, but you know what? They haven't tasted it yet. Also, I haven't decorated it either. I really can't decide if this was a fail or not. I'm not gonna lie. I only want to ice the most eligible, attractive cupcakes, which is kind of an issue when they are ugly. Funny story George actually bit Odie in the neck and he started bleeding like loads. So basically, George also wants to be a vampire and like we're just huge Robert Pattinson stands in this house. I'm gonna like test out the water and just do this first. I'm just chatting shit now. I 
will come back when I get my cupcake holders. Not cut this stubborn. Oh my god, it turned out beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, Are you joking? I don't like this. Uh, look how cool that looks. Uh, George, I see you watch my cupcakes. Don't you see what's on my mind? The first time that you kissed me. My dad just took away two hours of my cupcake liner. And I lost a lot of my energy in that time. So they're in the oven now and I'll come back when I'm icing them. Because this is taking long. Like it's literally been about four hours. Yeah, that's ugly. <gasps> oh my god, I literally just made a rose. Oh my god, that one's kind of cute. All right, girl pops, they're out of the oven. This is how they turn out. They rose a bit more than expected. This one is... <laughs> We don't have water. Look how perfect that is. Oh my god, you have to stop that now. I've got an array of different decorations. I've got white shimmer pearls, hundreds and thousands. These are all probably so old because they were from when I was like 11. Oh well, I'm not eating these cakes. I find like this icing thing in my cupboard, so I'm really, I'm just gonna flex on y'all here. I'll go with this one first. Oh, oh, that didn't. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. These look fucking banging. Oh my god, it's kind of awful. Little glam never hurt nobody, hey lady. My mum will appreciate these. You, Emma. I'll get better as we go along. Anyway, oh my god, who wants to see my Calvin Klein's? I just think that these are sensational. Everyone should buy themselves a pair of men's large Calvin Klein. You know, I probably could have sized up another, another like extra large. Was that English? No. Oh my god, guys, I am the baking queen. I mean, I don't like to brag, but I really pulled this out of the bag. I just need these cupcakes to be done because I'm going to engulf them. Because they're not, I got my period. Yet again, about the what, seventh time this month? I have been on a journey. Can any girl pops relate? I've been put on every birth control pill under the sun since I was about 12 years old. And this time they put me on Kerasa and they were like, yeah, this one's so good, you'll never have a period. I was living the lavish life. I thought I was never getting a period again. They were naughty, naughty. They were teasing me. I have got my period about seven times every month since and it is killing me. Woo! Oh my God, cute. Okay, look. Uh, I mean, look at this mask. Wowie. Look at those little caramel truffles. I mean, tell me that doesn't look good. We're gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna get my finest one. I'm gonna unpeel it and see what looks like inside. Okay, guys. Guys, here are the final cupcakes. Oh my god, why did I lose this snap? Oh my god, they nearly all fell off. I put a wee mini Oreo on top of each one and then I made myself a really badly decorated one just to try it because although we don't judge by the outside, it's what's inside that matters. That was really inspirational. Right, I'm actually going to go and give one to my mum and dad and see what they think. Not going to lie, they're kind of pissed right now because they're doing a little pub quiz. Oh. People that will oh be <laughs> Would you like oh. to try one? There you go. Oh, mm. Mm. Wow, she's sick. She's so sick. Time for a taste test. It is high key stuck to the paper, so I don't really know how to go about that. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, bloody amazing. The frosting does it all. Oh, the sponge is light. What would you rate it out of 10? 10. 10. For me, 10. Okay, amazing. 10. I haven't even tried with a bit of the icing yet, so I think it's only fair that I try my own creation. The true test of time will be to see if it makes them unwell or they contract some sort of new coronavirus from it. I mean, they're probably biased. They are my mum and dad. Here we go. Mm, that's actually quite good. Am I too getting stained from this? Oh, for goodness sake. I might put a bit too much food coloring, but you know, we're over it. So the outside is extremely burnt and hard. I and mean, I'm getting some notes of baking soda. But apart from that, honestly, I'd give myself a 10 out of 10. And I would vote for me if I could. Oh, delicious. Not joking, bloody delicious. Mummy's getting cross because I'm getting drunk. But not too drunk. Just isolation. Responsibly. Oh, is he your friend? Hey. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you see that? That's tie-dye right there. That's beautiful. Do I have some my chin? Oh, only she has shorts on my chin, lol. I can fuck with that. I suppose that's the end of the video. Oh my god, I need to stop talking from my phone. Disgusting. The world needs a bit of intoxicated Howard Clegg every now and then. So, what you're gonna do now is basically vote down in the comments which one wins. You know who to choose. Go. Okay, guys. Vote for me because... I'm actually gonna go before I embarrass myself and my family anymore. It's been lit. Thank you so much, Olivia. Thank you so much, Flossie. Kisses. Love you so much. Bye. Bye, guys. Did I just blow a kiss? Yes, I did. Why am I like, trying to seduce you? Stop, Olivia. Stop. Oh, it's really, actually, really good.